What up? Coming to you live from the Way for the Fame Garage. For the first time in weeks, thanks to David and Savi, we will not be working on the Blueberry Lemon. Instead, we'll be working on the Midget and Cappuccino. So for anyone who's watching this right now, if you haven't been up to date with the videos, the live drawing between the Cappuccino, the Midget, and Tom Box will be this Saturday, the 26th at 5 p.m. EST. It is going to be held on my Instagram. A lot of times when I do these live drawings, people comment, did you do it yet? Did you do it yet? And if you're watching, you don't have an Instagram, just make an Instagram, it takes four seconds. Your name could be Blueberry Lemon. You don't have to post pictures. You don't have to update your friends and family. You just have to make the Instagram so you can watch it live. Every time I do one of these live drawings, I do extra prizes. So just for watching, honestly, you can win a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, just for anyone who's tuned in live. So not only can you just watch the live to see if you won, and then we can speak on live, everybody can see your reaction, or you can see what happens. You might win the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, tenth prize, but it'd be cool because you'll be able to watch live. Speaking of the giveaway, we're down to the last six slots. So if you want to tap in last minute, now's your chance. By the time you're watching this, there might be one or two or it's just completely sold out. And then I was obviously joking about the mirror being for sale. <laughs> I know I said that in my last video just to close it out with a cliffhanger, but this is not for sale. It's not going anywhere. I haven't even taken on a road trip. I haven't done anything crazy just yet. Hopefully when I get back from my trip, because tomorrow I'm hopping on a plane for over 10 hours to go somewhere. I'm gonna tell my Patreon homies, I'm not gonna say it on here just yet. Once I get back, my goal is to, I don't really know what to, I guess finish the door, like just put some vinyl over that door, get some earth magnets, close that out. And then I think it's good. Like I'm ready to, I get back on Halloween, maybe even on Halloween, I'll go somewhere, I'll buy some candy at like Walmart or Target or somewhere, and I'll just hand out candy out of it. I just want people to interact with the blueberry lemon. I don't really care about making money in every scenario. Like even if I have to buy flowers on Mother's Day and I'm just parked up somewhere and I'm just giving out flowers for free, I just want it to be known. Like I want that car to be famous. So hopefully once I get back, I can stay home. I won't be traveling anymore. And I'll be able to really make some some real concrete ground with the blueberry lemon. Also, we're gonna get it wrapped. I guess that's one thing I have to do ASAP. We gotta add Wait for the Fame on the side. We gotta add it on the window. We gotta put some branding on there so people know who I am. But enough chit chat. My goal for today, install this. I got the window terminals fixed in Japan and they went up and down. They sent me videos and everything. But when I got it here, they didn't work anymore. So I'm thinking maybe it's just my switch. Maybe it's just old and corroded and needs to be swapped over. So I got this one thanks to the homie. I'll put his Instagram on the screen right now. He gave me this actually for free. So we're going to swap this over really quickly and hopefully both windows go down. And then seat covers will be here by the time I get back. So if you do take the cappuccino, you will hopefully have working windows and I'll give you some brand new seat covers. Wheel wise, I haven't got the replacements just yet, but we'll see what happens. Honestly, I want to say I'm not going to say it. Actually, I'm going to say it on Patreon, but something about these wheels and it has to do with Patreon. If you know where I'm going. And then as far as the midget goes, I have bad news. So I know a lot of people are looking forward to me and Mendy Imports going on a road trip with both our midgets. But guess who sold his yesterday? So unfortunately, David sold his. And we no longer have two midgets. So we can't go on a road trip. I am now just a solo midget owner. And who knows? Maybe in a couple days on Saturday, I would no longer have a midget. So maybe it worked out. I still want to buy one. I still want to do content. I actually ordered plugs, wires, air filter, uh, I'm going to show you these rims that I'm thinking about putting on there too. I want to paint the drums loader. I want to do a lot of stuff on this midget. And I saw some people, I think Frank and a couple people said that if they do take the midget, they'll let me do all the fun stuff to it. And then I can send it to them or whatever. So maybe we'll figure out something like that. Same with the cappuccino too. I would love if someone took this, that I'll pay for it too. I would love for them to allow me to put a uh, way for the fame there. The same way I did it with the red one. I think it'd be dope. Um, just and I would love to paint the calipers yellow too. I would love to do a little things I would love to maybe even keep the tri spokes there. We'll see what happens with that That would be best case scenario because I feel like I just got the plates for both these cars. I just got the titles for both these cars I spoke about that also on patreon if you're wondering about that So yeah, these are all legal registered ready to go title ready to sign over to you And I want to make some content on it. Unfortunately, I'm flying away tomorrow if I wasn't These things will be done and then my goal for the midget is just to put these wheels on and then I want to also drive it. I don't know, like I keep saying over and over, if this car literally will be gone by the time I get back. And I have these wheels that came off David's midget and I like them. A couple people did comment that if I painted these black, it would look better. And then that's when I remembered I have these Daihatsu mirror rims, which are kind of like a 
smoke black, maybe like a dark metallic gray with the chrome. And they have the Daihatsu logo. I think these will look a thousand percent better, in my opinion, comment below on this car, because this even isn't really, I mean, it's black, but it's 30 year old black. And then I have the chrome bar, which will go with the lip, and I think it'll just look better. And these are already 13, so honestly, I really could just drive to the tire shop and swap them over one, two, three. But I'm not going to do that just yet because I've been hoarding these for a while, just in case I bought a Daihatsu. These are already on the car. I think if someone does take this car, I'd rather them take it on those. And then worst case scenario, if I have to, I might have to put those on the cappuccino because they're for luck by everything. So I figured for today's purposes, just to get something done quick i'll just jack the car up we'll take the tri spokes off i'll mount those on and then we'll actually drive it like i want to drive around i want to go to maybe get some food actually maybe i'll go to chick-fil-a or something and um because i don't have a window we'll see how inconvenient it is to open the door so yeah that's the goal for today's video i guess first and foremost let's try the cappuccino window switch so to get this off from what i remember i think you just need to take these two screws off i was trying to just pop it with a trim remover from up here, but I didn't want to budge. So there's also one of these on each side. I think you got to take it off also. And then the shifter ball, and I should be able to pop it up. All right, now with that off, I should be able to just pop this up. Let me put the key in first, actually, just so we can do a before and after. Passenger window. One, two, three, driver window. I'm not getting anything out of there, so I'm turn that off, pop this open, pop this up. So for me to take it out, I just need to push these six clips. You see those, those, and those two? Or at least just one side so it could just pop out because this little sucker does not want to come out. I got it. Finally. So let's put the new one in. Let's see. Moment of truth. Can the easy fixes continue? Dun da da da. Goes down. Driver side. A. Up and down with no problem. We love easy fixes on the way for the fame channel. So now let's just pop this back into place. That's nice and secure. Button that back down and then one, two, three, four. And cool thing about this one, it's an EA11. It's not supposed to have this trunk latch, but someone added it, which is pretty nice. Wow. Wow. I didn't even know this was in the car. Look at that. This whole time, well, I, I still would want to get a shorty. I think these are a little too RC car like, but this whole time I thought it was just missing and it wasn't, it's just here. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about this though. I feel like it's just too big. I think I bought a shorty on like Amazon for like 10 bucks. It just looks way nicer. <laughs> just, <laughs> it really looks like a toy car when you have such a tall antenna. But for now, I'll leave it on. Let's see what happens with the giveaway. Now that the window issue is fixed, I'm still gonna clean this one off. In the meantime, let's jack up the midget. Let's swap over the wheels. And I think once I get back, I most likely will throw these black ones on. I wouldn't say that these are ugly rims. I just think the black, silver, green, teal, aqua color will look good together. Especially once I paint the rotors yellow. I think that's gonna be my color scheme. And maybe up here, I'll do this like white and yellow. Like after we get the midget off, after we get this all cleaned up, I'll put the WBTF there and maybe white or yellow or black. I think it just looks nicer. I don't, I'm not really feeling the, the silver period. Even if those were silver, I wouldn't be crazy about them. I think the black and the chrome looks really good with the midget.
acting. So I got the wheels on, but unfortunately I don't have sure enough lug nuts to put the caps back on. What we're gonna do now is give both cars a quick rinse. I wanna drive this one to get some food, maybe get a glizzy. And let's see how both of these look after a good wash. They've been sitting in Japan, sitting in the port, and now sitting in my backyard. I gotta give both these cars some love. Midget looking fresh. About to do the cappuccino next, but look at this thing. Quick little scrub. Not even in the sun yet either. Wait till I take it out the driveway. I really hope that no one takes this, but like I said, I saw some people commenting that they'll let me keep it for a little bit and you know, add WBTF on there change out the wheels if they want me to go that route install an a toto i have an aftermarket hub too so maybe put a different steering wheel on here interior is mint luckily clean in here too i should have done that but i'll wait to give it the taggy touch change out the speaker you can see that this one is definitely sunburned and old maybe even add a speaker here i think i'd probably go that route or maybe a sound bar up there or maybe even a speaker up there because I know that one's not going to cut it, so we got to do something with that. But now, let me just uh, rinse off the cap, and then we'll drive over to get some food, get my first thoughts on the midget, tell you guys how I feel about it. I think if I brought the cappuccino to Tegi, he would transform it. Because whoever painted this car in Japan did a great job. They did under the hood, they did the door jams, they did the interior pieces. And I can't tell you how long since it was painted, but it looks good. And then I checked in here too, there's no real leaking areas. There's a little something right there, but that just be from me maybe spraying a certain spot of the window that was cracked a little. But great news. No leaks on the roof. Car looking nice and clean. What we're gonna do now is take the midget. Let me get this one over here. I'm gonna park the mirror walk through here for now. this point since we're washing cappuccinos and midgets we might as well give the head honcho a quick scrub so i think i'm just gonna clean this one really quickly i'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards there she is the twenty thousand dollar blueberry lemon soon to be thirty thousand dollars i think come this spring one of my goals are going to be to get the car completely resprayed and then fix a lot of the body issues. So things like that, things like that, the rear bumper, the fact that this is like the way it is, the fact that my door does that and scrapes. Uh, this, a lot of the things, get it resprayed the color that I want. So it's gonna change from the blueberry lemon to something else. But it's came a long way. No regrets, no turning back. Now, finally, let's go back to the midget. Let's drive it. I know exactly what food I want right now. I just don't know if they're open. But let's go over there and see if we can get it. The midget is so small that I have my camera right there and it's basically under my rear view mirror but there's nowhere else to put it. Like the windshield isn't wide enough. I don't want to put it directly in front of my face. So I have it a little off centered. 
I think this car honestly is up there if not more of an eye catcher and a neck breaker than the mirror walkthrough I think the mirror walkthrough is like oh wow what is this box shaped little car but this just looks like a frog it looks like such a weird vehicle like these two people just pointed at me there's a couple people over here pointing at me and it's just like non-stop and the fact that it sticks at the sick like I, I get David's who sold his I get that his had the storage in the back and everything but nah if I get that in five speed, I'll take it, even if it's a one seater. All right, so let's drive on the highway. Let's go pick up my favorite food. Hopefully the guy's there, it's a food truck. This thing is throwing me back. Is it because I haven't drove stick shift in a while? I've been driving the, the automatic mirror walk -tips. The automatic mirror walk -tips, turbo. This thing was throwing me back. It only has 90,000 kilometers. I mean, I bought a full tune-up for it already. I got plugs, wires, air filter. That should all be here by the time I get back. And yeah, I wish I had a tax so I could show you guys, but I'll flip the camera over on my next pull. And um, this thing is hauling right now. Let's put the window up, see how the AC feels on a hot day. There's only one vent. I'm gonna be honest, it's good enough. Yeah, it's definitely good enough. And this is the froster, right? Ooh, I actually feel it on my feet. I feel it a lot on my feet. Okay, that works. Put this back down. Halls. Oh, man, I wish David didn't sell his. Like, I've been beating him up about it every day. Just because I feel like a car like this is a car that will get me to 100k subscribers if I take this on a road trip to, you know, somewhere far, like 10 hours away or something, and in one seater midget, maybe I put like racks on the top or like camp in the back or something. I think this is one of those weird cars where it can take you to the next level. brakes work really good yeah damn man let's see what happens like hopefully this video doesn't sway people to take the midget again it is what it is whatever happens happens but um this thing is sick first drive on the midget and i lost the front center cap i'm over here risking my life on the side of the highway to find it i also think this is an amazing thumbnail Look at this clip right here. But yeah, I can't find it, which is annoying. Very, very annoying. I hate wheels that look like that. I think it just needs the center caps. But I checked all of here already. I don't want to continue to risk my life for the center cap. I'm gonna check this bush right here. Cause it happened somewhere there, I think. I think I heard a plasticky sound and I was like, oh, I lost my center cap and pulled over. But it could have happened earlier. Yeah, I don't see anything here and I don't want to continue to stand on the side of the road. Yeah, let's just get back into the midget and let's grab some food. I'm gonna retrace my steps when I get back home. Maybe I dropped it earlier. But let's get on the highway. Let me give you guys a quick poll. First gear, second gear. screaming on the higher part of the RPMs now. Fourth gear. And then I would say here is the safe point. Let me roll my window up. Yeah, I would say 70 to 80 kilometers an hour, it doesn't mind. It's definitely kind of loud, but the engine is under my seat. 
But what I learned and I was very shocked is that if I put my foot down, it treats it like a five speed. Now, do you want to hear this the entire time you're driving? Probably not. Definitely cutting up right now though. The little midget that could. So that was a nice little top speed run. Took it like a champ. Prior to the tune up at that, we took we get new plugs, wires, air filter, oil in this thing. gonna be me and my blueberry lemon almost the same color stay tuned what better way to end this video than eating two glizzies with ketchup mustard sauerkraut onions are okay too but i'm not crazy about like bacon and cream cheese and all that crazy stuff but here it is it's a hot two midget coming to the channel soon Coming to a city near you. Road trip coming soon. Content coming soon. Calipers coming soon. Turbo coming soon. Everything coming soon. Peace. Remember the name. This is for the fame.